For assembling, you need the Nokia Standard Dual Kit version 2. You will also need the SS298RF Connector Disassembly Assembly Tool. Remove the Battery Connector Support Protective Film. Attach the battery connector support to the battery connector. Be careful not to damage the battery connector. Before placing the battery, place the flex protective tape to the shown place. After placing the vibra and the vibra holder, attach the loose end of the flex protective tape on top of the vibra holder. Remove the battery protective film. Place the battery to its cavity and press it to activate the adhesive. Remove the vibra protective film. Align the vibra to its place by using the shown screw hole. Press the vibra gently to activate the adhesive. Be careful not to damage the vibra. Place the vibra support on top of the vibra. Place the vibra holder shown side first. Lock the other side of the Vibra holder with the SS93. Remove the bottom flex protective film. Align the bottom flex by using the two shown holes. Press the bottom flex with the SS93 to activate the adhesive. Be careful not to damage the small components on the bottom flex. Lock the SS298 dual to the antenna coax cable connector by first placing the tool on the cable and then sliding it towards the connector. Connect the antenna coax cable connector. Be careful not to damage the connector. Push the antenna coax cable around the shown corner. Push the main antenna to the speaker box. Check that the shown three clips are attached. Place the speaker box with the main antenna to the metal deco bottom end first. Then press it to its place. Place the side key assembly. Fasten the two torques plus size 4 screws in the order shown to the torque of 8 newton centimeters. Remove the microphone protective film. Push the AV connector to its place first. Use the SS93 to push the microphone and the USB connector to their places. Check that the connector assembly is correctly aligned. Remove the front camera support protective film. Place the front camera support. Place the camera boot to the front camera. 
Note the alignment of the camera boot. Place the front camera as shown. Push the connector assembly connector through the connector latch. Be careful not to damage the connector assembly connector. Push the connector latch to its place with the SS93. Remove the flash support protective film. Place the flash support as shown. Place the PMIC thermal pad. Remove the camera support protective film. Place the camera support as shown. Gently bend the camera connector flex. Connect the camera connector. Be careful not to damage the connector. Bend the camera connector flex as shown. Be careful not to damage the camera connector flex. Place the wireless LAN GPS antenna to the engine board as shown. Place the engine board to the metal deco bottom end first. Guide the connectors away with the SS93. Be careful not to damage or leave any connectors underneath the engine board. Press the engine board gently until it snaps to its place. Place the MIMO antenna. Fasten the two Torx plus size 4 screws in the order shown to the torque of 8 newton centimeters. Lock the SS298 tool to the antenna coax cable connector and connect it. Be careful not to damage the connector. Place the coax mount to its place. Push from the three shown places with the SS93 to lock it to its place. Before connecting the connectors place the two shown flex protective tapes. Connect the front camera connector with the SS93. When connecting connectors, be careful not to damage them, or any components nearby. Connect the connector assembly connector with the SS93. Connect the display connector with the SS93. Connect the side key assembly connector with the SS93. Connect the bottom flex connector with the SS93.
replace the connector support frame. Fasten the three Torx plus size 6 screws in the order shown to the torque of 15 newton centimeters. Connect the battery connector. Make sure to connect the battery connector last, to avoid short circuit. Be careful not to damage the connector or any components nearby. Remove the camera opening protective film. Place the back cover and press from the shown places to attach the right side of the back cover first. Attach the bottom end of the back cover by pressing from the shown places. Then attach the left side of the back cover by pressing from the shown places. Attach the top end of the bottom cover. You might need to push the back cover slightly towards bottom end of the phone and then press the back cover to its place. Remove the back cover protective film. Push in the SIM tray. Remove the display protective film. Now the Nokia Lumia 925 assembly procedure is complete.